It's Edith Childs. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? It was early in my campaign, and I wasn't doing that good. I had promised a state legislator from South Carolina that I'd go down to her district, Greenwood, which is a pretty small town. So we had to drive. It was a rainy day. I walk in, and, and yeah, there are only about 20 people there. And I'm thinking, man, this is a three-hour round trip to talk to 20 people. I'm wet. I'm kind of grumpy. And suddenly I hear in the background, fired up! And everybody acts like this is normal, and they all shout, fired up! And then after that, ready to go! And everybody says, ready to go. And, and I look back and I see this woman smiling who has been leading this chant. And it turns out her name is Edith Child. Edith was a longtime member of the NAACP. Fired up, ready to go had been one of the chants, the cheers that the NAACP had used back in the day. I thought it was a hoop. And it turned out that Edith had the personality to go with it. Just her being there, cheered me up. And as we walked away, I said to my team, I said, you know, I'm feeling kind of fired up. Are you? And they said, yeah. And I said, are you, are you ready to go? Yeah. And that chant, eventually, we do in front of 100,000 people at huge rallies as the campaign went on. I don't know about you, but I'm fired up. Fired up. Ready to go. Hit it. Hit it. Fired up. Edith Child shows you what one voice can do. One voice can change a room. And if it can change a room, it can change a city. And if it can change a city, it can change a state. And if it can change a state, it can change a nation. And if it can change a nation, it can change the world. I stayed in touch with Edith. Once I was elected, I had the opportunity to bring her to the White House. And, you know, I, I think more than anything, what it represented was a core belief that I had then and continue to have now, that leadership and power and inspiration can come from anywhere. It just has to do with spirit, and uh, nobody embodied that better than you. Well, you know, I, I heard that you were retiring after all these years of public service. I'm still busy out in the community doing what I do. You're going to still be out there. You just decided now was the time to step off the city council, give some young people a chance to serve. Exactly. What advice have you been giving young people as they do public service that I can pass on to the young people that we're working with at the foundation? Just be themselves. Just be okay. themselves. Don't try to imitate anyone. Just be themselves. And if you be yourself, then you'll do fine. That's what I've done all my life. What you see is what you get. I think that's good advice. Listen, you, you have made a difference uh, in the lives of your town and your community, and you made a difference in my campaign and my life, and I just wanted to let you know how much we all love you and appreciate you and are grateful for your service and, and just that positive attitude that you have that keeps people fired up and keeps them ready to go. Exactly. Thank you for your kindness. I'm grateful that you're on the other side and that you still can talk to me. I love you, Edith Childs. It's great to talk to you. Look forward to seeing you again. Thank you so much, and I love you back. <laughs>